Binge watch and learn on TRS Clips. I had a shoulder issue this last year for which mm. I went to a physiotherapist. Mm. They happened to correct my posture, yeah. but they also happened to introduce me to this thing called lymphatic drainage massages. Correct. Where they massage my face in a particular way and then they correct. also massage your arms and all that and it's like a 10 uh, session course. Correct. Uh, and after the lymphatic drainage massages, the first day they said, you'll probably just feel a little dizzy today. I was actually feeling great. I was kind of feeling high. So, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I just felt that I didn't feel bad. The second, third, fourth time, they were like, listen, you got to sit down. Uh, and today, if uh, your stomach gets upset or if you pee a lot, then that means something has worked. And I was like, yeah, that's not going to happen to me. And it actually happened. Mm. And I was like, what is happening here? So I realized that there's some truth in what they were doing with that lymphatic drainage massage. And I asked them that what's the visual indicator for you in terms of your lymphatic drainage massages working? So they said that, Usually acne reduces. What is this connection? I'm asking a dermatologist this. And I actually saw that. I mean, I'm, I'm not dealing with too much acne right now, but my skin definitely was glowing. Mm. Uh, and I was feeling much better. Uh, there was a, like, that was one of the best things I've done for my body. Mm. That lymphatic drainage yeah. massage. So do you have anything to say about this? Mm. Like what was happening from a medical perspective inside my skin? Lymphatic drainage. Like I said in the previous answer, what happens when you do yoga lymph also drains back. So there's a lot of stagnation of that fluid, which is the fluid that usually leaks from your blood vessels, from your vein or your artery. Some fluid sometimes leaks. Why? Because everything is permeable, right? Okay. So some leaks. So those leaks are sitting in the tissue. That is again scavenged from this tiny little white little pipes called lymphatic channels. And they have little, little nodes everywhere. Lymph nodes, which drain, 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 drain back to your heart back to the venous system. So it is like, it just collects whatever is left fluid. The fellow who literally collects whatever is left and brings it back and dumps it back to the heart. So he is the lymphatic guy. Now, sometimes when you see puffy face, puffy eyes, puffy legs on people, it is all because there is stagnation of lymphatic drainage. May not be always lymph, it can also be venous drainage, but contribution is quite a lot from the lymphatic drainage as well. That needs to be drained back. A massage really helps in draining it opening the channels, pushing it back. What I've also seen in recent time is especially people who do a lot of fillers around the eye. It's become a big thing in India. Tear trough, they call it. It's also called something like a trench under the eye and everybody fills it up and it looks like one big blue thing here. And there's a lot of, they would have poked it so many times that it would have disrupted the lymphatics of this area. So there's a lot of puffy eye and swelling. So, there are such fine channels. If you keep poking, if you keep irritating, you disrupt them. So massaging really helps them back. For example, in the face, if you want to massage yourself, these are where there is a lot of lymphatics. From here, they all end up draining to peri periauricular, mm. preauricular lymphatic area. So there's a lot of, in front of the ear, there's lymph. So they will drain from here to here. Then from here to the neck, there are a lot of glands here, all over here, there are glands. So you drain, then you drain the whole thing under the arm. There is a lymphatic, big lymphatic channels here, glands here. So like that and so on and so forth, you keep draining everything. So that is how a lymphatic massage is done. It reduces puffiness, therefore reduces inflammation as well. Does it, is it a form of treatment I do for acne? No, not really, because at that time I don't want to massage your face. I want to leave it alone. <laughs> I don't want to touch you. Yeah. But is that something that there is science behind it? Could there be lymphatic obstruction? Yes, there is. Could the massage help? Yes, it can. There are experts who do lymphatic massages. You could end up doing that. It is very easy to learn in the n number of YouTube things which will teach you. It's a simple thing to do it on your own. For those people who feel very puffed up in the morning, they can do their own little lymphatic massage. It really kind of helps. Just, just kind of deep off. So TRS Clips has all sorts of videos and all sorts of playlists. Make sure you explore the channel by subscribing and heading to our homepage and reading through all the playlists.